So if you put a two inch lift kit on your truck with the spacer kit on your Toyota Tacoma, you gotta worry a little bit, it's very little about crushing those shocks on the uh, down force articulation on your tire. And I'll show you how to manage your bump stop to fix that. So we're talking about a spacer kit that I installed on here that raises the suspension two inches. By default, your stock suspension has 1.25 inches of extra travel. So you need to take care of 0.75 inches. That 0.75 inches will give you a chance to break your shock. And we need to take the bump stop 0.75 inches of travel out so that we won't break our shocks. And I'll show you how to do that right now. By the way, they do sell two different types of bump stop for your Tacoma. One is just a padding. It, it basically buffers your uh, shocking. It is not an actual bump stop that limits the zone. So don't get that, That's it's cheaper. It's like 30 or 40 bucks or something like that. But again, it doesn't actually limit the bump stop. So don't even bother with that. The one that actually does limit the bump stop, I've checked online. It costs almost 200 bucks, and I'm not going to spend 200 bucks to put a bump stop limiter on there. So we're going to take that bump stop off using this wrench. It'll fit around there, and if you don't have that wrench, you can use an oil strap wrench that might work, but if not, you've got to get that proper wrench for it. And then I'm going to add this spacer inside in between there that'll bring the bump stop down a little bit so it won't be breaking my shocks on the articulation when it swings up so i got the bump stop off i got blue thread lock and i got my spacer this is home depot asc is what the code is on it i'm gonna show you how big it is real quick just so you know it's two inches wide and the inside gap is three quarters of an inch. It doesn't have to be three quarters of an inch. It can be, I think it's a three eighths of an inch. It has to be on the whole inside, but that's what Home Depot had. So that's what I'm putting on. I'm gonna put a little thread locker on here. Oop, maybe not that much. All right, got a little thread locker on there and I'm gonna put it back on. Now, put that on, and I will make sure this is nice and center when I squeeze it down. There we go. Now I'll use my wrench, tighten it back up, and that is it. I didn't have to take any suspension off. I didn't have to do any other wrenching. I just took that off and put it back on with the spacer. You can see the spacer in between. That is it. And the biggest benefit is it cost me a buck. That's all it cost was one dollar. I went to Home Depot, picked it up for a buck. Didn't cost me hardly anything. And I now am gonna save my shocks from being crushed.